Good morning, Grand Cities. I'm Dale Coolis, and we are GFBS, Grand Fork's best source. It is October 5th, 2022, and it's time for your Wednesday morning update, brought to you by Circle of Friends Animal Shelter. Or if you're thinking about a new pet to complete your family, why not adopt? Please contact the Circle of Friends Animal Shelter in Grand Forks. Your new adopted family member will be spayed or neutered, chipped, and up to date with shots, and will be ready to come to its new forever home. Circle of Friends could also use dog and cat food donations, as well as donations for cat litter, towel, towels, washcloths, and small fleece blankets, and more. If you would like to help pets in need, please contact them at their website at www.cofpets.com. Circle of Friends is also hiring. Make your family complete by adopting. The Circle of Friends Animal Shelter is open in Grand Forks with their new location on South Washington across from Paradiso, and you can call them up at 701-775-3732. Today's forecast will see quite the range in temperatures with partly cloudy skies and a small chance of a shower today with a high of 76 degrees and possible wind gusts from 15 to 25 miles per hour. And we'll have a late night low of 36 degrees. So you may want to have those ice scrapers on standby just in case for tomorrow morning. Well, yesterday saw the ribbon cutting ceremony for UND's Nistler College of Business and Public Administration building. Special guest speakers at the ceremony included UND President Andy Armacost, Nistler College Dean Amy Henley, Grand Forks Mayor Brandon Bochensky, and State Congressman Mark Sanford, who all spoke to almost 600 alumni in, the, in attendance. The building was named after the Nistler family, who donated $20 million to the building's construction. Warner Nissler stated at the ceremony the new facility will complement programs and studies at UND such as Aerospace Sciences and the School of Medicine and Health Sciences. Well, as announced for next year's UND hockey season, that UND and Bemidji State will be co-hosting the annual Icebreaker Tournament in two non-season exhibition games. This will transpire in October 2023, and UND and Bemidji State will be co-hosting this season opening event, which in the past annually has four teams from four different leagues. Both teams are expected to take turns hosting the teams from Wisconsin and Army. The only other time the Icebreaker Tournament happened before was in 2011 at the Ralph Engelstead Arena, the only time that UND has competed in the Icebreaker Tournament, and this will be the first time UND has played against Army going back to 1966. Well, that music means it's time for us to tell you all about Moe's Cafe Daily Dish which you can find right here in the Grand Cities Mall. And get a load of today's special. It's the pepperoni pizza waffle, like a pizza puff, but it isn't gross. We take our own batter, blend oregano, garlic, and pesto into it, along with tomatoes, pepperoni, and fontina cheese. And in the end, you'll have the most crispy, delicious, and unusual lunch, but it's just so good. Served with a side of pizza sauce, all for just 12 bucks. That's all going on at Moe's Cafe, just down the hall from us in the Grand Cities Mall. Moe's Cafe, normal hours of operation are Tuesday through Friday from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. and Saturday and Sunday from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. That's Moe's Cafe. Bring a friend for breakfast or lunch. You will love it. At yesterday's county commission meeting, there was proposed plans discussed over adding entrance and exit ramps to the Interstate 29 interchange at Merrifield Road. It was stated at the meeting this would help offset some of the truck traffic that normally populates the 32nd Avenue South Interstate 29 interchange. Sheriff Andrew Schneider said at the meeting that adding the ramps as is to the current Merrifield interchange would pose safety issues with whiteout conditions in the wintertime, and an all-new overpass would need to be constructed to factor in snow drifting. Commissioner Bob Roffs said there would be need for federal funding for this project, and the commission approved a motion to progress the interchange project to environmental review. Well, Joe Bouchard is being sued for allegedly not paying for supplies for his three businesses that recently closed. Bouchard announced on Facebook last week his three restaurants, Joe's Diner in East Grand Forks and Crookston and the Wake and Bake and Cafe in Grand Forks permanently, permanently closed on September 27th last week. This lawsuit is being filed by Brandon Buckaloo, owner of Ace Hardware in Grand Forks. Buckaloo claims Bouchard did not pay for over $5,000 worth of items that were purchased to start his business. And in sports, in high school girls tennis, Bemidji was victorious over East Grand Forks, 6-1. to one. In high school boys soccer, Crookston got the win over East Grand Forks, 1-0. to zero. In high school girls soccer, East Grand Forks crushed Pelican Rapids, 14-0. to zero. In high school volleyball, Grand Forks Central defeated Valley City, 3 sets to 2. 
Holly with the win over East Grand Forks, three sets to one. Fargo Davies got a victory over Devil's Lake in straight sets, and Waro defeated Crookston three to one. For high school girls golf, it was day two of the North Dakota Class A state tournament in Jamestown, and it saw Grand Forks Red River place second of 12 teams for the day, with Bismarck Century finishing first. Well, the Twins lost to the White Sox last night, 3-8. That saw Luis Arise return to the lineup after a brief hamstring injury, and he got on first base with a base hit to keep him in neck-and-neck -neck contention with Aaron Judge for the American League batting average title. If Arise finishes the season with a batting average title, he will play spoiler to Aaron Judge, pulling off the rare Triple Crown Award in Major League Baseball history. The two teams, Twins and White Sox, will play again this afternoon at 3:10 in what will be both teams' final game of the season. Speaking of Aaron Judge, he hit his 62nd home run last night against the Rangers, surpassing Roger Maris's shortened season record of 61 home runs. And that's your morning update with special thanks to Valvoline Instant Oil Change. Where life doesn't seem to ever slow down, everything needs to be done right now. When it comes time for an oil change, stop into Valvoline Instant Oil Change. Most oil changes are done within 15 minutes. And Valvoline Instant Oil Change, they do more too with transmission and coolant flushes, tire rotations, and batteries. Also included in your oil change, they'll do the works where they'll top off your fluids, check your tires, battery, lights, wipers, and cabin air filter as well. You'll get discounts for fleets and the military, and they'll can text and email invoices and coupons as well. And well, speaking of coupons and offers, mention GFBS and you'll get $10 off your oil change. Valvoline Instant Oil Change is open Monday through Saturday with no appointments needed, and pickup and delivery is available in Grand Forks as well. Come to Valvoline Instant Oil Change for a complete oil change and more. They're located at 3325 South 38th Street or call 701-780-8462 and tell them GFBS sent you. Well, stay tuned later today at 11 a.m. on GFBS for the Wednesday interview where we will be joined by Michelle and Jeff Bankston who are talking about the Tables Du Jour brunch fundraiser for Chem Shrine Ladies happening on October 29th. And then at 1 p.m., it'll be time for big screens and TV streams, which will be packed with the latest reviews and coverage in the arts and entertainment scene. Many thanks to producer Paul, and remember to like, share, tag, and follow Grand Forks Best Source and hit that notification bell to get those alerts for whenever we go live. Also, become a patron to GFBS on Podbean to be entered to win awesome monthly giveaways. Or check out the donate link on top of the GFBestSource.com website to help support GFBS. Hey, the Grand Cities, they're a magnificent place, and Grand Forks Best Source is giving them an identity again.